Chudley Cannons, Chudley Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. But we are afraid of moths. Hey, Because apparently, goodness. look at this. We lost to the giant mammoth, and then way back in week two, our only other loss... Also, also to the, the mammoth. mammoth. To the mammoth. Oh my god. In a gosh. super high scoring 4 to 6 game the first time. Oh, yeah. Man. What was uh, it the second time? Uh, uh, 3 to 4. 3 to 4. Man. So, yeah, it's, a, it's an offensively charged game whenever we're up against the old moss. But they're not even in the playoffs as of yet. Right now, it's just uh, Buzz, Buzz, and Buzz, Ben's sixth grade soccer team, and Ender Wiggins Dragons. Hey, man. What a lineup of, of characters that we have here. Yeah. In, that being in, said, we might be able to knock off the. the uh, the buzzes. Oh, the old buzzes here. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have? Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Aldrin, and, and Buzz, uh, Buzz Saw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take them on. The Rovers. At Backwood Park. Back do like a good With the old park. double rainbow up there. I wish that they would just work oh, on the work on the field a little bit. It's getting a little tired. It does yeah. seem like uh, so the field games. crew. Yeah. I mean, that is the risk you take with uh, when you're not using, using turf, right? Right, yeah. yeah. No, yep. that's true. It's really more of a natural feel, though, when uh -oh, your tires. Uh -oh. Oh, Derek, 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 Derek. I missed it! No! Buzz saw, Buzz no! Saw. Okay, well, we got ace. That's never a good feeling. Did, or did it? I guess. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What, what uh, bananas is that? Oh, you were so oh. close. So close, but no bananas. Close, but no bananas. Well, all right. Oh, we're off to a good start. Yeah. Three seconds in, we're already behind. Yeah. So. There we go. All right, all right. Um, we needed a good lose streak. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's distract ourselves with a question. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Definitely. Uh oh, center ball, center ball. Mostly, I'm just waiting for no! you guys to score. Got, ah, thank hey, you for hey. cleaning up that trash. That was a really good uh, first 15 seconds. Yeah. Like, action packed. Woo -hoo. One, one. Been two goals already. Oh, oh I just totally like, missed. Burr. Yeah. Burr. Burr. Okay, there it is. Okay, nice. Our first question of the day is from Prozer. Prozer Prozer says, I need some advice. Bending. One of my best friends spends too much time with his girlfriend and has stopped hanging around all of his friends as much. Oh, boy. That Since happens. most of us. That's, that's just like are very stressed because every time they become to, they come together, uh -oh. they are intolerable. He believes it's justified, and the problem is just because we're single. Is there any way to find a middle ground? Um, you could get a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, Double uh, date no. does help. <laughs> Double date does help. Uh, I think yeah, this is this is a thing of life. There's so there's there's a couple things here. On the one hand, uh, a lot of new relationships will go through this where the, all you want to do is just be around the other person. Um, the, the question is if, like, all of a sudden, I don't know, like, they've become, like, a whole different person altogether in really weird and unusual ways. Like, if they're adjusting their entire personality for this person, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, sometimes you do end up just trying new things because you're dating someone new, and right. that can be okay as well. And it's just uncomfortable for you, the friend. I mean, do we have a sense of how old this person that's asking the I question is? I believe high school. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I mean this without intention of a slight, but it sounds like it. Um, because that's that's a thing that can happen where, like, so frequently when you're in high school, you get to hang out with your friends every single day. Right. Right. Center. Um, <laughs> I missed. Uh, whoop, still center. Oh, oh man. Oh man, I almost had my first goal uh, of the. Uh, of the recording session. <laughs> oh no! Um, uh, I forgot what I was saying. No, I completely know where you were going with that. Yeah, it's like you, you're you so used to getting to hang out with your friends all the time. And it is like uh, one of those where you may have been living inside of the good old days without realizing it. Um, where it's like, oh man, remember back when like none of us had any other obligations. We were just able to like hang out at so-and-so's house every night and we all had so much fun all the time. Um, because we totally had that. There was one summer of high school where I know, like, we went to one of our friends' houses every single night, and he had a pool, and it was, like, the most fun thing ever, and we had all these games that we would play, and, like, on any given night, it could either just be the four of us close-knit friends, or it could be, like, a whole bunch of other people, and it was, I just, I remember loving that summer so much and always wanting to recreate it, and it just never happened. Right. Um... And I, I think that it's going to just continue to happen. Like, I, a bunch of my friends are starting to have kids now, and it's yeah. like, that frequently means, like, hey, do you guys just want to go out to, like, a random sushi dinner? And it's like, we would love to, but, but we don't have a sitter. So, <coughs> and it's like, oh, all right, well. Yeah, it's just like all of a sudden, you, uh, every situation involves a baby. Right, it's just yeah. like, yeah, you can't get rid of that, you know? <laughs> um, they said that they're intolerable, and I'm curious what that means. Is that, like, uh, an excessive amount of PDA? Uh, public displays of affection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, If that's the case, that's something you can probably case, talk can to like, them hey, about. Guys. 
If it's just that you're annoyed or something by them, that's uh, maybe more of a personal. Yeah, that's possibly on you and not on them. Yeah. Yeah. It is possible. You might not uh, necessarily. But not I mean, necessarily, but this does seem like a situation where you do need to ask yourself, like, are you being the dang? There, you're on fire. This game, game. <clears throat> on flyer. On the flyer. Yeah. Uh, you know, you just have to try and be happy for your friend. And um, if you are in high school, uh, I would also try and remember that uh, most high school relationships don't last. So. Yeah, also, like, <laughs> wait a month or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah. Just yeah. maybe yeah. this yeah. isn't as perfect as you think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I definitely have had friends oh, before. For we're goal! Like... For goal! Yes! Look at that aerial shot. That was assist on that amazing. Look at, I don't know where did... Paul assisting on that one. Boom! Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, look at that. Beautiful That's how you like to pop the old highlight cord. Here, yeah. For the recruiters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there were scouts watching that one. Jeez. Yeah, and I'm sure that we've all had friends who have been the disappearing friend when they get a significant other, and I'm sure at some point or another we've all been that yeah, disappearing without friend. Without even knowing it, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I know that when I started dating Alice that I was the disappearing friend. Oh! Could it be? It could be! It is! It is. Nice. There's all of the new relationship energy and stuff, so you really want to spend as much time with that person as possible. New so. relationship energy is great. Isn't yeah. it? You know? Yeah. Um, and then oftentimes, especially in high school, once that fades, realize that they're kind of intolerable <laughs> well and so it's like you get like so much perspective with this one though because like you can witness other people doing it before you've ever had it and right. then once you have it you have no idea that you're doing it yeah, right yeah. it's true it, that's very true um and yeah it is it, i think a lot of that comes down to like in high school it, it's probably the first time for many people like like where you you had a crush on someone and like oh my god they like liked you back and this is your first experience of someone just like being attracted to you in that way. Yep. And um, that's such a nice feeling and it can it just yeah it, it's it's such a weird new experience because of course you've had friends like people have liked you before now but like just probably not in this way. And mm -hmm. um, sometimes. Could it, there's a center. There's, uh... Oh come on. But like, yeah, try not to hold it too much against them because at some point, like, this is this is you know how you get married, right? Like, you're at some point you do eventually just uh, focus all of your attention to your significant other. So I don't know what state you're like. Oh no! Yeah. I may have just. Oh! Oh! oh. I, I mean, I, I did a we're gonna be just fine, but. <laughs> I did a goof. Ben just really wanted to get that score. Oh, <laughs> boy! No matter which goal it went in. Oh, man. Also, as as a ben. thing that you could do just to make sure that your friend is still spending time there with you is. guys as friends, Boom. maybe set up, like, like how you guys do the Mexican Monday yes. with, with friends. Mm, yeah. Have a recurring thing, um, either with just you and the friend or with your whole group of friends, where you just regularly do a thing where you get to hang out. That's, That's like a really a month, right? genuinely good idea. Just be like, hey, Jim, Jim, I'd really like to hang out with you without hanging out with Florence. <laughs> Jim and Florence. Jim and oh Florence. my gosh. These people, what are they dating in the 80s? Listen, yeah. these are my grandparents. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, earlier so, yeah. than that. The 50s. <laughs> Uh, uh, can, we, can we finish um, it? Can we get one more? Could we get one? Oh! oh so close. Oh, so close. Oh, but Charlie comes out on top. Yes. No, I think if you just talk to him, be like, hey, what if we hung out without without Florence being around? Mm -hmm. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. Yep, no, for sure. Um, and that, that's been my biggest thing forever. Like, so any like athletic activity that I do, I almost always incorporate one of my friends into that activity so that like I can simultaneously be killing as many birds with as few stones as possible. Nice. There you go. You got to preserve those stones. Right, right. Yeah. A, it's Never know when you might need another one. Right. <laughs> All right. And I think that brings us to today's Patreon sponsor. <laughs> Good sound effect. Hey, Can thanks. we just save it and use it forever? It's just all the time. <laughs> Today's sponsor is Lucas and Alexander's mom, Bonnie. She has signed up for a team with the NEDA Walk, National Eating Disorders Association, and she wants to encourage everyone to sign up for their local walks as well. The walks take place in October and will include a link into the website in the description of this video. So thank you for that extra work for Derek. Hey! hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. It's always easy for <laughs> us. I know. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, we will do, We will include a link for that. It sounds 
like a very good cause indeed. Yeah. In Lucas and Alexander's mom, Bonnie. You know, this is this is one of those things though where it's like I love that five Ks uh, have have become such a mechanism for raising money mm. for for causes like mm. this. I feel like growing up. Uh, running had not yet become such a common activity. Oh, right. Like a popular sport, but our parents did it. Yes. And um, they were, old, like, they did marathons, and I remember the very first few that they did, they were running, like, with the Leukemia Society. Yep. Where part of the training program also involved, like, raising money for a particular cause, yeah. and then they all wore, like, singlets for it at the events and right. stuff. Right. Um, and I know that's just a super successful way to, you know, actually help people out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, uh, sign up. Uh, check out the link in the description. Uh, sign up for any local walks for any DA or, you know, whatever else. Maybe they don't have, I don't think they have one here. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll have to look. We'll have to look. Mm -hmm. All right. On with the show. <laughs> Thanos and the Guardians. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. boy. Oh, Good old Thanos. Boy. Here we go. Here we go. The snap. Watched uh, Infinity War last night again. Did you? It's really yeah. Good. It's so I, so good. I saw that you had put a story up polling to see whether or not you yep. should buy it or rent it. What'd you do? I, I bought it. Hey! <laughs> I mean, it was six dollars. I'm like, mm, if I watch it three times, I will have gotten my money's worth. Mm. And I'm probably gonna watch it this three times. Yeah. Oh my god! I, would I hope so. I love that movie so much. They, they Actually, you texted us last does. night. Why didn't Doctor Strange just teleport them back from the yeah. ship? Yeah. And the reason is because. We um, <laughs> That's why. That's the reason Strange. is because uh, Iron Man talks Doctor Strange into confronting him because they have the element of surprise, which they don't suspect they will have at any other point. Wait, well, uh, I mean, Doctor Strange is like, let's turn this around instead of like, well, see ya. Yeah. I don't know. Well. It was actually the question that the person that I was uh, watching it with uh, had and not mine. Oh, okay. Ah, yes. Anyway. We get a question. Oh yes, we gosh. can get a question. This next question oh, is no. from oh, gosh. Nadia. Oh, good save. Thanks, thanks. Uh, Nadia? Nadia says, my friend who is prettier than I am is oh. always telling me about Fergal. how whenever we go Fergal. around each other in public, guys will walk up to me and flirt with me. <clears throat> I never noticed, noticed this, but I sort of feel like it's true. What do I do to prevent this from further happening? She says it distracts her, it, it distracts people because her crushes flirt with me, too. I'm so. So wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. Read, read yeah, the yeah, question this again. Make any sense Literally, to me at all. Nadia thinks she's the ugly duckling <coughs> friend, and everybody flirts with her instead of Nadia. Well, Nadia. Or instead, instead of, of Nadia's friend. friend. Nadia, yeah. it sounds like a you are either more approachable or just generally like more Except conventionally like attractive, and you're you accept quite this. humble. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, or you could potentially <laughs> even just be much more bubbly. Yeah. Um, like, I know yeah. that the, the personality that lends itself to just sort of, like, you know, if, if you meet somebody kind of unexpectedly, but you are still Ooh. completely open to, like, being fun and conversational and exciting and, oh boy. you know, making jokes and stuff like that, that is going to very quickly become a very attractive trait. Oh, yeah. Um, Indeed. And... Even more attractive than uh, your physicality, one might argue. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite often, quite often. That's what I bank on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, um, there there's, it is. There's a comedian who who has a thing about how you can you can fix ugly, you can't fix stupid. But you, True. you, uh, I think it's Ron White. Yeah. Potentially grown up humor, but um. Oh no! Oh my gosh. Peter Salad. Yes. <laughs> Are you wrong? <laughs> Tater, tater salad, salad what? <laughs> you, you caught me. <laughs> you caught the tater. Oh, oh man. man. I but, didn't know this was a thing we shared in common. The, I'm excited oh. to, to giggle <laughs> about it later. But with this, with this person, uh, what a non-problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Be nice. I mean... <laughs> everybody it's, keeps on flirting with me. What do I do? You know, the, this is interesting because she doesn't know they're flirting with her, what it sounds like. Yeah, that's but, what it sounds like. But, you know, this... Um, this can be a real thing to like overcome, like like it sounds like you could also just have like low self esteem, like. It does that, sound like that a little bit. You know, like I feel like I don't, I don't know, I never assumed anyone was ever flirting with me ever in my entire life, like all through high school <laughs> or whatever. You know what I mean? Like I because in my mind I was not good enough, like looking or whatever to to be flirted with. Yeah, no, I sure. get that. And, uh. and like so, like when it when it would happen, I would be. <laughs> So oblivious you were to the, it. You were the last person to know. Yeah, I was like the last person to know, you know, and it would just be like, I don't know. Um, so 
the the chances are you are um, you might be giving yourself a really hard time. Um, yeah, totally. It also sounds like her friend might be giving her a hard time. Yeah, she's got like, herself convinced yeah. that the friend is prettier and the friend is mad. Like that seems right. Like petty. I, I think this is another question where I'm like, how old are these people? Probably the, high school. Yeah. This, Maybe this question even. definitely makes me wonder. Yeah, like, um, is is the friend mad at you that people keep flirting with you instead of her, despite the fact that she's <laughs> boom? Nice you. fix, man. Thank I missed you. it. Do you guys that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's that seems kind of petty. Like, yeah, uh, I'm like, supposed to be the sparkly one. Right, it's know? like, yeah. I, I'm pretty. Why is everybody flirting with you? It's like, and, and then it almost yeah. seems like the person who asked the question has been. Maybe it's because you're the, the one that thinks that you're pretty. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> maybe uh, you're just a, maybe your friend's a jerk. Maybe that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually had an experience like that in college. Um, one of my good friends for a couple of years was definitely more conventionally attractive than I, but she had a personality that was just so standoffish. So people would approach me, oftentimes with the effort to get to her later. Like, oh, hey, can you put in a good word for me with insert name here? Um, which was always really annoying. Oh, good save, good but save. But ultimately, her personality made it such that no! people didn't even take her anyway. Oh, junker. Wow, it's a tie game. Yeah, I, I, I feel like a, we're doing pretty good. I've yeah. had a friend that I literally did not want to introduce to my female friends. Because oh, really? Like, because, because I know as soon as they meet him, they're going to be like, so Derek, who, who, how do we know him? <laughs> <clears throat> and I'll be like, ah, yes, I know, he's very cute, got it, great. He's got a lot of money too, not great. <laughs> what was it, was very his personality successful. acceptable? Uh, no, he's great, he's a wonderful person. <laughs> he's a doctor! Um, <laughs> it's just, it was just always frustrating. So, Derek, this just friend. made me, yeah. <laughs> dang it! It's Every time, it's it's can't get away from it. Um, uh, well, he's engaged now, so there. Uh, <laughs> he's been claimed. Uh, That's but, what you should have just said all the time. Yeah, yeah, just like, no. Yeah. Well, I know him because my friend's engaged to him, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's great. Uh, sorry. I'm not engaged, but. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I understand the, the frustration of, like, feeling like you're a second fiddle. So I get. The the what? thing is though is that that's that's really not the vibe that I'm getting is it, it doesn't feel. Well, like I was it. talking from oh uh oh oh from uh -oh. From, from the, the perspective of the no! friend. No, hey, guys, we're losing. We have to score right now. <laughs> right now, right, right now. Not in 48 seconds. Right now. <laughs> can we do it? No, okay, no, we're not in the formation. I mean, we can, but it's not yeah, super easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I meant. Whoop. Yeah, are we in the ace? You got in this. Ace position. Okay, we do got this. We Whoop. do got this. Oh, that looks nice. That's so, a good center ball. Um, a lot of times when people ask for advice on like how to ask someone out, we have given the advice of make friends with her friends or make friends with his friends and, and sort of make it like a almost a merging of your groups of humans. Yeah. That way you get the time with them. Do you think that this could be a situation of that where people are like trying to get closer to the friend but talking to the slightly more approachable one that they don't have a crush on? I don't know. I don't know. They're some... flirting. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's yeah, that's not true. like I think she'd know if that was the case. Like if everyone was talking to her and then oh, oh gosh, ball could be in center. There you go. Oh, get no. there, get there, get there. Keep it alive. No! Oh no, I get bumped. No! Guardians. Oh gosh, guys, we are off our game recently. Well, this is why we can't take a week off. Oh, take a week my off. Gosh. This is what happens when you slack. Oh, you get gosh. comfortable at the top. Boy, oh, I did nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> oh, Big old slackers. I touched uh, the ball once. Uh, <laughs> terribleness. Terribleness. Uh, it's no good. It well, hurts. It hurts. There we go. We've gone one and one in our last two episodes. Anyway. And the mammoths have inched their way oh, into no. the Oh, no. no. This is bad news. This is. We must not let them invade. Do we play? I don't think we play them again. No. No. Nope. Okay, we don't. Okay, so who do we, we have got, next? We got Ender, Ender Wiggins and the Dragons. Followed by who? Uh, then we have Victor, Victor Crumb, Crumb the Seekers. And the Seekers. I don't know if we have a fun story. For <laughs> the bombers. <laughs> the ghosts. Right? So the mammoths are paying, playing the rovers, and they're tied in the standings right now. So that Ooh. could decide who. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that like could. That. So go rovers, I guess. And then we have the single arches and Ben's sixth grade soccer team, the Rebels. Seventh grade. Seventh By the grade. way, look who's in tenth place. Oh, <laughs> how embarrassing! <laughs> oh. The old Skycorp. 
Oh, oh my gosh. That's what happens. That's what happens. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and liking and commenting on this video. If you need any advice about your friend being not as pretty as you or prettier than you or whatever the situation is, let us know in the towel section. I feel like I need more information yeah. on this whole situation. I need more information. Can I have an update? I think, I think we... I wonder if what we can do is ask for like a Twitter length question with as much detail as you can possibly pack into it. Mm. Um, you no, know, what you do is the, the you know, like the notes, the screenshot. The screenshot, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because, I definitely thread. asked for more information on some of the questions before. <laughs> because that's that's the thing, is that like very frequently, so like if your question's like very, very long, it's tricky for us to read because there's, there's time. The time yeah, on it, yeah. so much to like unpack. Um, but sometimes, yeah, if you guys could give us like just a smidgen more that goes a long way. Goes yeah. a long way. You get, it, we need to know who it's, we're who we're targeting our advice. It's towards. a delicate balance between. Yeah, like this this advice is way different if you're 13 versus if you're 31. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> right. If right. you're 31 and this is your concern, like I, I think you just need a new friend. Yeah. Or a hobby. <laughs> or a hobby. <laughs> yeah, anything else. Um, but either way, any questions you guys may have for us, we're always happy to answer each and every single one of them that Jordan reads to us. And so right. if you put her name first, sometimes it helps. <laughs> um, <laughs> otherwise, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right. Until next time. Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons. Boom, boom, boom. We are not pirates. pirates.